Hey guys, it's just me again. I'm uh, doing an update. I had ordered my replacement part, but I hadn't checked. I kind of blindly ordered it. As you know from last video, I kind of just, um, I was, just didn't know. But checking the number 08E1ODM7200 is the one I ordered. So by pure luck, I've ordered the correct replacement. E Part, which is that one right oh it's going to focus there that bad boy right there is going to be our cause of concern so hopefully um when it shows up you're going to refocus hello there we go um we will be in tip shop shape um looking at videos for this People had said there'd be a hidden um, USB on the side, which I could not find. But on this one, it was on the bottom, strangely. Um, so I'm kind of glad I found the spare USB plug, which will come in handy, no doubt. Um, which I will leave uncovered because there's no point covering up a free USB point, port, port, correct? Now, uh, Opening it up, I couldn't see there'd been any tampering with it. But if you hadn't already seen it, this was inside the TV. Um, I don't know what it's from or what it is. Maybe I just don't know. Anyway, so either someone's been in it or it was in there during creation. That's a bit would be a bit strange, right? So. Yeah, that's that's something. Um, looking at the rest of the board, that's the power board. Uh, I know virtually nothing about any of this. But it all looks pretty clean and tidy. Um, so now I can put it back together, knowing that I've ordered the correct replacement part for my television. Um, yay, I don't have to order a second chip because I was... Too lazy to open it first and check the um, serial code on the motherboard. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and if you're doing the same thing, I just put the screws on a, a thing that makes it in the same order as it is on the back of the TV. So I put together properly. Nice and easy. Um, it's just a short update video to tell you what's been going on and what's going on next. So... Next video will either be, oh, I can't solder, so um, I'll be getting someone to do it for me. I'll either record them doing it, or I will just do an update after the fact. Um, funnily story, I rang a TV repair company to ask them if they would, actually I didn't ring them, I emailed them, asking them if they would install the part. I said, I've got, I've ordered the part. I know where, what needs to be replaced. I just need someone to install it. And they said no. So that's only one shop. So I've got to shop around and see if I can find another place that can do soldering. Or I've got to get a friend or someone. I might have to do some um, e-begging on Facebook. And see if I can find someone local that will do some soldering for me. Because I don't really feel like buying a soldering gun for one little e-prom there. So, yeah, just thought I'd give you a little update on what's been happening around here because it's been a few days and um, thanks for watching.